Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and today we have another F-16C, and it's uh, another one from the Tiger Meet of the Americas in 2001, the inaugural one, and this particular aircraft is from the 79th Fighter Squadron and the 20th Fighter Wing, and uh, the 79th Fighter Squadron is a current combat-ready squadron fielding F-16C's Andes, but its origins actually date back to 1918, where it was known as the 79th Aero Service Squadron, based in Waco, Texas, actually, so... It was um, it was deactivated after World War One, but uh, reactivated again in 1927 until October 1945 after World War Two, where it was deactivated once more. And uh, then in 1946, it uh, saw itself reactivated again, and it is currently still in that active state. And uh, as I said, they are fielding F-16s currently, and the 79th Squadron is known as the Tigers. So. It's got the usual deal with the dragon packets, it's got the ordnance in the flap. This one does come with a pilot figure. Um, the first one I did did not have a pilot figure in it, the uh, Tiger Meat one. Um, this one does look pretty cool in, in the packet, but uh, as it's, you know, it's no good in the box, is it? We better get this out of the box so we can uh, check out this uh, Falcon in the metal. Here it is out of the box. It does come with a set of instructions, same as the other one. This is a uh, double-sided set of instructions, um, similar sort of... Uh, Layout is the other one. These are all a very similar type of um, model, but just dif different uh, fighter squadrons, obviously. And we'll get the uh, packet open and uh, have a little look at the aircraft in the packet first. It does look very nice and snug in there. It is brand new. As you can see, there is a little little baggie in the, in the inside there that does have the landing gear. There's a bit of tube there that needs to be fitted on, similar to the other one. And in the side here, it does have the base. But what we'll do is we'll get this uh, Falcon out of the packet and have a look at it first. And this one is fairly plain on the upper surfaces, but if you look on the tail, it's got a beautiful tiger rendition there. The tiger jumping through, through, through out of that tail. That looks really nice on there. The rest of the uh, finish on the aircraft is just that sort of a, uh, a dark grey. The panel lines are excellent as per usual. These these F-16s are really nice from Dragon. Um, if we open up the cockpit, it, same deal. It's really hard to sort of get open and get you to have a little look in there. But uh, it does have some fairly good detail in there. But I think overall it's a, you know, it is another F-16. And uh, I think it's, you know, still a pretty pretty cool looking one. We'll turn it around and have a look from this side. You can see the details in there. It is very nice. And same deal with these do move around and you can swap those uh, air brakes out for ones that are in the closed position. And it's got some nice engine weathering like the others. And there's the tail detail on that side, which is really nice. Well, Plop her on the back and have a look underneath. Same as the other ones. It's in the um, in-flight mode, so obviously uh, has to be taken off. So you can put your uh, landing modules in there, like there's a module in there, and then your gear bay door and a uh, front front wheel that goes in that one. And obviously the ordnance that is supplied to go on some of those pylons. And what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll kit this out. So here it is all uh, kitted out. It, uh, this one is completely kitted out, um, unlike the other one, which only had uh, some sidewinders and uh, some uh, fuel tanks. This one has um, it does have some um, AMRAMs. It does have some AGMs as well as the uh, extra uh, fuel tanks as well. Uh, this one is really uh, virtually kitted out completely. There is only uh, one pylon on each wing that does not have any ordnance on it. And, um, of course, the pitted tube you just chuck in, and the landing gear modules go straight in. The deal with this one, though, it's got a uh, Santa Pylon ordinance, which means you cannot put that stand in there if you have that on there. So if you want to display it on the stand, you will, of course, have to take that ordinance off. Um, and the same deal it's got with the air brakes. You can take these open ones out and put the ones that are in closed position in, and you're good to go with that, too. And it's got all the movement still and everything like that. Um, I think this uh, does set up really nicely. As you can see, it does look really good, all kitted out, and with all the weaponry on there, it looks really nice. So I think it's uh, another pretty cool rendition from Dragon Wings, and I, I think you won't be disappointed with it at all. Um, I think it comes up really nice, and uh, so we'll just chuck it on the deck, of course. 
We'll just zoom in a fraction for you. And that is it. So, yeah, I, as I said, I reckon this is a pretty cool rendition from Dragon Wings. It is the uh, F-16C from the 79th Fighter Squadron from the 20th uh, Fighter Wing. And it is one of the um, F-16s that participated in the Tiger Meet of the Americas in 2001. And this is from the Warbird series by Dragon Wings in 172nd scale diecast. And I, I, I grabbed this for, it was just a tad over 100 bucks, And um, that was delivered to me. And uh, I reckon that wasn't too bad. I bought that at this off a seller. Um, it was brand new but second hand. And I uh, got this off a seller on eBay as quite often I do. All right, guys, um, hopefully you did enjoy the video, and it does come with that usual stand as well, So, uh, but obviously we can't put that one on, and it, this one does have a little pilot figure, as you saw in the packet earlier too, So, but I don't usually put sort of pilot figures in, in mine very often anyway. But yeah, all right, well, look, if you enjoyed this video, throw us a like as per usual, and you know the deal, subscribe if you haven't already done so, if you're enjoying our content. And uh, once again, I... Thank you for your valuable time in taking that time to watch one of my videos, and hopefully you did enjoy it. All right, guys, and thanks again for coming to the channel. I uh, really hope you did enjoy the uh, content today, and uh, you have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys.